If you have been feeling stuck in your business at all, I completely understand how that feels. We have this vision, we've set this path of where we're going in our business and we want so badly to get there, to achieve this. But for some reason, we just feel completely stuck on our path and we don't know what we need to be doing next to actually get us to that goal. We're putting in all this time and this effort and we're just not seeing the results that we want. This could be getting the clients that you want or growing your business revenue, but whatever it is, The weight of the world is just sitting on your shoulders and it's holding you down and you just can't figure out what to do to get yourself unstuck. Now I'm here to tell you the good news is that if you're feeling stuck, this is not a permanent situation. This is actually something that you can tweak and it's usually just something small that needs to happen in order to get yourself unstuck so you can move forward in your business. And that is exactly why I have created this video for you today. Actually, I've spent quite a bit of time really reflecting on what are the things that I do to get myself unstuck and hopefully to keep myself unstuck as much as possible. The funny thing is, as you go on in business, actually learning to get yourself unstuck is a skill that you're going to develop because you're going to get stuck. You are human, you are creating this business, you are going through a process that you've probably never been through before. So you are going to get stuck here and there. So the trick isn't to try and avoid getting stuck ever because that's not going to happen. The trick is to figure out as quickly as you can why you are stuck so that you can explore what it is that you need to do to get yourself out of that state so you can move forward in your business. So what I want to do today is share with you 13 of the things that I do to get myself unstuck and to keep myself in this state of unstuckedness. Now, these are nothing big. These are not big tasks or things that you now have to do because, well, that's only going to weigh you down if you have this big thing you now have to do to get yourself unstuck when you're already feeling stuck and overwhelmed. So as I mentioned, these are really just going to be small tweaks to either your mindset or the tasks that you are doing that will get you out of this. Now, the first thing that I want to share with you, and I share this with you first because I'm a big believer believer in really creating and designing a business that works around your personal life, that really allows you to create a lifestyle that you want and your business is just supporting you in doing that. And so what we need to do is really look at our personal life first and prioritize what is most important to us there. You see, if you in business are successful by however you have defined success for yourself, and you are getting all the clients that you want, you got lots of projects, the money's coming in for you, everything is going according to plan. But then over in your personal life, your relationships are suffering with your family or your friends, you're not able to get out and enjoy life or do your hobbies or see the outdoors. Well, then, you know, you're really out of whack there a little bit with that work-life balance, as they say. So we really need to make sure that we are prioritizing what is important to us in our personal life and then come and prioritize what is important in our business. So if it is important to you that you work out three times a week, or that you make home cooked meals four times a week, or you spend 30 minutes of dedicated time with each of your kids three times a week, or every day, or once a week, or whatever it is that is important to you, or that you call your friends once a week instead of once a month, what are the things that are most important to you that you want to make happen? And then start working on implementing those because the momentum, the energy that you get from those things in your personal life are absolutely going to carry over into your business life. Okay, now the second thing is I want you to start planning for your week. Now, I previously shared in another video how I go about setting and achieving my goals. So I encourage you to go back and take a look at that particular video because that's going to show you how I look out and I look at, well, what am I going to accomplish in 12 months from now? then we plan for that, and then we work backwards to figure out what our monthly goals are gonna be, and how are we gonna take that goal and break that down into what our weekly tasks are and our daily tasks. But see, now what I want you to do is set and forget. 
That means I want you to take that long-term goal, I want you to set it, I want you to work backwards using that plan in that other video to figure out what your weekly plan needs to be. What are your weekly action steps that you need to take to get you to that goal a year from now? And then I want you to forget that long-term goal. Just, just put it over there, put it to the side, and only have in front of you that weekly goal. That's it. Because when we take on that big annual goal every day, that's what we're looking at every day, it is very easy to become overwhelmed and start to feel stuck and, oh my gosh, how am I gonna do that? So plan for it once, set it, forget it, and then focus in on your weekly action steps. Now, a third, this is a small mindset shift. And that is I want you to start expecting to get stuck. I want you to plan to get stuck and to face challenges in your business. You see, our reaction to things are based on our expectations. So if we expect to never get stuck, to never face a challenge or a roadblock, well then we're all flustered and upset with ourselves when that time comes. So rather say, no, this is something that is new to me. I'm going to run into challenges. I might not even know what they are. I probably won't know what they are right now. But when this happens, this is how I'm going to get myself out of that. This is how I'm going to figure out what is going on with me and how to get out of being stuck in that moment. Now, number four, I want you to just take a step back for a moment. And I want you to be brutally honest with yourself and ask yourself, have you created a plan for your business? And then have you consistently showed up and taken the action steps according to that plan? Sometimes we feel stuck, but it's just really because we're not seeing results, but it's because we either didn't create the plan or we didn't take the action steps in the plan that we created or didn't create. So we're not getting those results and then we're still sitting here wondering what it is that we should do. So if you've created the plan and you haven't implemented it, well, when are you going to start implementing it? Set that deadline. If you don't have a plan at all, well then set a deadline to have a plan and don't make it far out in the future. You will take up as much time as you give yourself. And if you need help, have you asked for it? Have you asked any questions? And if not, you have a question, when are you going to do it this week? So let's stop looking at what we can't do and making these excuses. Let's look at what opportunities can you create this week and what can you create over the next two weeks or the next month? Now, number five is one that definitely got me at the beginning. And this is wanting to know all of the steps in the entire process that I was gonna take before I was willing to take action. So if you are trying to gather all the information that you can about every possible thing in business, about anything a client could say, about any question you would need to answer, about any skill you would ever need to have, and you just want everything all together before you are even willing to take the slightest bit of action, well, it's gonna be really tough and it's probably not going to work for you. And what we really need to do is just start with step number one. What is the next thing, the one big thing, the one next big step that you could take that's gonna move your business forward and just progress even a little bit? You see, that action is what creates the clarity. So you're never gonna be on step one and be able to figure out exactly what you're gonna to need to do once you get to step four. You're not gonna be able to figure that out until you take action in step number one, which then is gonna give you the clarity you need to get to step number two. And when you get to step number two and you work on it, that's gonna give you the clarity you need to take step number three and so on. So if you're looking for clarity and you're trying to create it without taking any action, it's gonna be really tough. Now, number six, is a little bit like the first step we talked about here. And this is to make sure you understand what your purpose is. What is your why? Like, why do you want this? And don't tell me money. I don't wanna hear I want extra income or I want this money. No, no, no. This is something that has nothing to do with money. Because if you're saying the reason or your purpose for wanting this business is money, it's not. It's what you believe that money is going to do for you. This could be the freedom to leave your job, the freedom to be able to work your own hours or to be able to go on vacation when you want, to be able to travel more, to be able to spend more time with your family, to be able to make more income while working less hours. There's a lot of different whys and every person's is going to be different. So take a moment to figure out what your purpose is that is not money 
and write that down where you can see that every day because we need that motivation to get us there. And if your why is not really motivating you and pushing you, it's probably not good enough. It's not your real reason why you wanna do this. Now, number seven is to give yourself permission to take a break. I mean, this could be to go for a walk for 10 minutes. This could be to take the rest of the afternoon off. This could be to not work at all. Look at anything related to work for the entire weekend. This could be to take an entire week. This could be an entire month where you're just not going to think about your business anymore. You are just going to put it aside and then you're going to come back. See, it doesn't even matter how long your break is and how much time you need is going to be different for everyone. But even giving yourself a 10 minute break where you're feeling stuck, you're feeling overwhelmed, just getting out of your workspace, going outside, going for a walk, and just getting some of that fresh air just allows you to refocus and to gain some clarity so that when you sit back at your desk, you now have taken a breather, you have a little bit more of a clear mind. If you come back and it's still not clear, well, maybe you need a longer break. Now, number eight is to try and prioritize working out. Now, I'm not here to talk about health and things, but I know you are here because of your business, but I'm not gonna get into all the science and everything, but simply working out, that is really, really gonna help you reduce stress. It really, really helps you to focus, and you're gonna start finding that you're able to get a lot more done faster than if you're not. So even if you just start working out three times a week, if you want to in the middle of the day, you're starting to lose energy, just drop and do some push-ups, stand up, do some jumping jacks. It doesn't have to be anything elaborate. It doesn't have to be a 60 minute hit workout. It can just be something just to get you going enough to really boost that energy and to help you refocus on your business. If you don't believe me, try it for a week, try it for two weeks and compare it to when you're not working out and I guarantee to you, you're going to see the difference in your productivity. Now, number nine is I want you to make peace with being stuck. Don't fight it. Don't resist it. Just allow it to be. The more you try to fight it and to just keep it away, keep it from happening, the more it's just going to keep coming back. So rather take a breather, take one of those breaks that we talked about and just step back and listen. Try to listen. Instead of fighting being stuck. Listen, and you might just hear the answer as to why you are stuck. Maybe you're scared. Maybe you're afraid of failure. Maybe you are unclear on your direction. Maybe you're feeling overwhelmed. Try to get to the root by listening of what is causing you to be stuck. Because when you can figure out what is causing you to be stuck, then you can start to ask better questions. So remember, when you reach out and ask for help, you can say, I'm stuck because this is where I'm at. This is what I'm feeling. And now I need to make a plan to get myself out of it. Maybe I'm feeling stuck because I don't have the confidence to be able to deliver results to clients. Okay, well, now that's good. Let's now make a plan so that you are feeling confident to be able to deliver those results so you do start taking the regular action that you need to to move your business forward. So listen. Now, number 10 is to stop making the questions you ask about you. And it's very easy to do. We've all done it. We often ask, how can I make more money? How can I find more clients? And let's switch that. Let's make the questions that we ask about the people and the businesses that we want to serve. How can I support this business? How can I offer more value to this business? How can I assist them where they are at? So this really shifts us from looking at me, 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 me to no, no, no. I'm gonna put me aside for a second. I really, I'm here for you. You see, that comes across completely differently to the prospective client that you're talking to. And even if you're not asking them those questions, you are coming across very differently when your internal dialogue is on them and not on you. See, in our conversations, we're like, how can I land this client? How can I make them pay me? How can I, how can I get this project? How can I get them to sign? What am I gonna do here? You, it's all about you. So when we can change that internal dialogue to allow me to listen, 
What are they going through? What problems are they facing? What kind of results are they looking for? See, we are having very different conversations in our own mind and with the clients there. And those are the types of questions that you can ask and the conversations that you can have that are going to bring revenue into your business. Now, number 11 is to give yourself a review. So this isn't something formal or fancy, but if you think about any time you have worked a nine to five job, you are given an annual employee review. And they're really looking at your performance and this is your job, did you do it, did you not? And well, when you did your job, what parts did you do well and did you not do well? So that's something that I would encourage you to think about and sit back and, and look at this as an outsider. If you were actually a boss and you were the employee, how would you rate yourself? How would you rate how you showed up in business or how hard you tried or how innovative you were in thinking about your business? Or did you take the daily action steps that, that you should have? What would you encourage you to continue doing over the next year that worked well? And what things would you encourage yourself to do differently to see better results over the next year? Now, number 12 is to make sure that the tasks that you are working on are based on what you have come up with for your business and not someone else. So let me give you an example. Let's say you were trying to figure out a lead generation strategy. So you heard hey, that guy over there, he was talking about this amazing strategy. And then this person over there was talking about this cool lead magnet. And so you started getting all this information from all these different people and you just started kind of piecing this weird puzzle together and trying to make it work rather than looking at these pieces and making sure that it's fitting in with your personality and your way of delivering value and the ideal clients that you are working to attract. And then making sure that that puzzle makes sense and it excites you, that you believe in it and that it motivates you to move forward. When we are looking at someone else's success and we don't understand their goals or why they're doing it and we don't even look to make sure that it matches our own goals and what we're doing, it's really hard to feel motivated and it's very easy to get stuck when we're simply doing somebody else's system and not really creating our own so we don't fully believe in it. And finally, don't stay in this state for too long. Don't stay stagnant. I don't want you to stay stuck. So just do something. It doesn't matter what it is. Don't worry if it is the right task, the wrong task, if there's something better you should be doing, or if this task is going to lead you to the end goal. Just do something to start working on your business. The more you stay stuck and you stay stuck and you're not working on any tasks related to your business, the worse this is really going to get. So again, remember, one of the most important things that I said here was that action creates clarity. So if you are stuck and you can't figure out what to do, just do something. It doesn't matter if it's right or wrong or better or worse or you should have done this instead. It doesn't matter. Do something because when you start, that is going to help give you the clarity to what it is that you need. If you have questions, jump over to the Facebook group. Ask about where you're at. If you don't know the group, get the link in the description below. Come by, ask a question. Ask in the comments down here below. I'd be happy to chime in. But make sure you are asking the questions that you need and you're just doing something so that your action creates the clarity you need to get yourself unstuck. I applaud you for making it all the way through here and listening to this. And I really hope that you are walking away with at least a few things that you can do a little bit differently to help you get unstuck and to hopefully stay unstuck for as long as possible. All right, let me know in the comments below if you have been feeling stuck and what you're gonna do to get yourself unstuck. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.